All right, we're doing it. The Fire Fortress, or the Fire Base, or whatever it's called. Team Star, up to no good. Or are they? They seem to have a mysterious story. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here, man. This belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out of here real quick, like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense, you get me? I'm not turning back. Well, all right. Time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you then. Huh. <laughs> what an idiot. Wow. Team Star Grunt. Houndor. Or Houndour. Houndour. Oh. Yeah, you're in a Houndour, huh? How about you Houndour this? Oh, do you incinerate? That's not good. Ow! Now we're this! Oh. Okay, we'll try Force Bomb instead. Ooh! There we go. That was super effective. That was done. I forgot how good the music is at these bases. Level up! Oh, I defended myself all right, but it wasn't enough. No, it wasn't. You suck. Get the hell out of here right now. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Call me DSP. Or Heisenberg. Whoa, DSP or Heisenberg. Thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista. Yes, Hound Dower becomes Hound Doom. Doesn't he become like a big... Doesn't have skulls on him or something, if I remember? Hey, DSP. Here we go again. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come to give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. <clears throat> Foo foom. What? Foo foo. Is that you, Charlos? Woo. I thought so. What are you doing here? His name is Charlos? Do you know this little fella? This is Charlos the Charcadet. Boom! He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care with within its grounds. Oh. Woo! Ah, Charlos, wait! He ran off. Looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. Ah, don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, DSP. All right, foom. Foo, foom, as he said. Rotototototot! I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shedder Squad. Like Cheddar, but Shedder. Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her methods are heavy handy. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring that bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off the phase of the operation. Time to swipe up the Shedder Squad off the map. Here we go. Delicious Shedder. I like Shedder. Sometimes I like Swish. Or sometimes a, a really good um, Parmesan. It's pretty good. All right, here we go. Are you ready to cha challenge Team Star? Wait, what are the first few Pokemon in my party? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, we should definitely put Godzilla in there. I don't think Selena is going to be very useful considering. Well, wait a minute. Eve should get in there because Eve is water tight. I think we'll go with these three and let's heal them. There we go. All right, we're good. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Oh, you like mozzarella? Mozzarella cheese? Beep. Cursed. Seems the folks behind us, Operation Star Fool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang? Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. Hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you got the skill set to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, I've lost my demon that her being worthy to meet in person, so go break a leg. All right. Derek, we did the Q&A YouTube feature both yesterday and today. It seems interesting, although it does seem like there's something to be desired. Like... 
people are basically saying it's cool because they can ask the questions. It's cool to actually see them right away. And people know what question I'm focusing on because I'll, I'll assign it as the, the actual question. But apparently the problem is then I cannot see what other people are saying in the chat. So some people would like respond or follow up to the discussion. And they don't know. I don't know what they're saying. All I can see is the questions that are being asked. So some people didn't particularly like that part of it. We have a lot of hound hours here, right? Hound hours. Well, we have the bright Pokemon for the job. They are spanking these other Pokemon right now. Just like slapping them around. Pretty badly, as you can see. Slappy slappy. You can hear it's you can hear it the sound effect for super effective. I have the right party for the job, and it is just a trouncing right now. An absolute trouncing. Derek says, plus if there's a lot of questions you queue up, you have to scroll up and down to pick the good ones, and that is true. Basically, the way I see it, people only have to ask a question once. They don't have to worry about spamming a question to get it answered, so that's an advantage. But the disadvantage definitely is I can't see people's comments uh, outside of the questions, right? Every hit is a super effective hit. Godzilla, E. Honda, and Eve are destroying the opposition. Crushing them into paste. They've taken zero damage so far. I definitely say I have the right party for the job. Did it. Just like that. Easy peasy. Boss time. Hopefully this is much harder or much easier than the last one. The last one was tough, remember? Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Yep. So once again, one of these vehicles, but this one is gonna be what? Uh fire theme. The last one was poison, the one before that was. I don't even remember what the first one was. The first base was the time. Here she is. Mela. <clears throat> Boss of Team Stars Fire Crew, Mela. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenge us, we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. All right. Challenge by Melo of Team Star. Alright, Honda. Let's do it to it. Right here, right now, you're going down. Drought. The sunlight has turned harsh. Fake it out. First hit, fake out. Boom! Flinch it. But yes, immediately flinched in Camus. Now. Let's force bombing. Decent damage. Not great. Paralyzed. Maybe unable to move. This move will torture till there ain't nothing but ash left. Flame wheel. You did okay damage. That was for the rest of the Shedder Squad. I actually really like Shedder Cheese. Let's try knockoff. Decent damage again. So we can finish him here. One more hit needed. Ha! Cannot move because he's paralyzed. Time to win. You and your shedder. Torkoal, easily defeated. So rubber room. It's the vehicle. I ain't burnt to a crisp just yet. Alright. Let's do it. Let's swap out. Oh, we can't. Well, that sucks. We can't. Force bombing. Defense is harshly falling. Oh. 
harsh sunlight has faded. But his speed went up. That's not good. Um, hmm. Let's get Godzilla in. Any plans to play the Dragon Quest spin-off game? At this point, no. I have no plans to really be taking on tons of new games. As you know, I'm already behind on the games I'm playing, so we gotta focus on what I'm doing. Be really very sparing about what other new games I take on. <laughs> Derek, these are not gym leaders. These are Team Star base leaders. It's a different mechanic of this game. Earthquake time! How dare you? Let's do it, Godzilla. Earthquake! Boom! Oh my lord! Getting owned. As you can see, this is a level 26, so the one I fought last time was actually tougher. Finish it. This is an easy one. I told you this would be an easy one. We were going to steamroll it. What's funny is it's still doing good damage, right? Pretty much hurt me pretty badly. Done. Mello is easily defeated. All that rage amounted to nothing. You suck. Ugh. Is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. Yeah, you stink. You're a terrible Pokemon trainer. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Sharkadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mella. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Ari. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star is finally happening. And the big boss. What prey is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had, and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That Hariyama of yours really let us have it. Beating me in battle is a huge deal. So here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. It's not a huge deal. She sucked. The last two were really hard. She was actually pretty easy. So look, look what she did to his hand. She shook his hand so hard she broke all the bones in his hand. Wow. Well, I'm at it. You can have this TM too. Not like I'm going to use it. Flame charge. Cloaking itself in flame, the user attacks the target. Then building up momentum, the user boosts its speed stat. That's pretty good. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Hariyama. And then she's goose-stepping for some reason, which is very disturbing, actually. You got what you came for, and I'll leave me alone. You're Mello from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Woo! A Charcadet? Wait! Fufum! Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. Woo! You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less that he's just thinking of by looking at the way his, fl his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Fufum! Bafwoom! Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants to cut you to come back. Just shut it already, would ya? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? 
First, I've heard of that stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting out garbage. Well, then what about that modified car you were motoring about in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us with out, with, out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? What's this about a big fight? You never heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? No, not Operation Starfall. No, that's the first time I'm hearing of it. <clears throat> huh. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Oh, boy. We have another flashback, aren't we? Oh, boy. Oh, shucks. Oh, brother. No flashback? Oh, I got you fooled. Rototototototot! DSP, it's me. Mellow Star Badge is yours now, then. I see. Now that she's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shedder Squad shouldn't last long. Now, Mella 2. Sorry, I got a lot on my mind right now. Operation Starfall, you've taken down all but two bases. It's fair to say it's going well. Seems like a good time to let you know we're ultimately aim what we're aiming to achieve, okay? Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one that they call the Big Boss. What's this person like? Who knows? They control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that would be it for Team Star. Since the Big Boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. You know, I just realized I haven't used a single LP in my entire playthrough yet, right? I just have it all saved up. I wonder if you do save it for something or what. I don't know. All right, you got 7,000. You can now make more kinds of TMs. Have your Pokemon learn strong moves so they can continue to be of use to the operation. My supply unit rep will be with you soon. Here she comes. Uh, hey there, DSP. That, uh, this sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Adios. Whoa, I, I wasn't talking to you. Ugh, elixir. Ah! So, that mastermind you were talking about, uh, Cassiopeia has mentioned them to me, too. Team Star's founder is the person who caused all kinds of misery at the Academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. What do you mean? Uh, no, I, I, I just... Um, th that's right. Y you need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. You received lots of Pokemon materials. All right, well, I'll be off then. Oh, and DSP, don't lose to those guys. Wait a minute. Do you think maybe she's involved? I just realized maybe she was the former leader? I'm just saying. I'm just tossing the idea out, maybe. Because obviously either she, she's involved, Cassiopeia's involved, they're both involved. Maybe she's really Cassiopeia in disguise? Like, I don't know. Anyway, now that that's done, we can either head south to a new gym battle, or we can head west to a new Titan fight. Uh, we've done everything today, right? We did all three. Maybe we should just go right to the new gym battle that's due south. I think that's probably what we'll do. Derek says, LP can be used to make TMs, or you can make some TMs. Yeah, I haven't really bothered making a single one yet, if you haven't noticed, right? I haven't bought, made a single TM in this playthrough yet. I just, I use what I got, so. All right, so do south is where we need to go to get to the, the new, uh, the new town. Wait a minute, what is that? Oh, we have new Pokemon here. Look at this thing. What is that thing? Some kind of a plant. It's called a Steamy. Steamy. Catch it. Rapid spin. Silly. 
Bikini. Oh, this is the Boon Sweet Evolution, says Derek. I see. Boon Sweet. Have a picnic? What's the point of the picnic? Someone just said, uh, Sherry said to have a picnic. Why? Why would I do that? Jade says, I'm back, and Godzilla is my favorite moving monster. Well, now we got a little mini Godzilla in our party, don't we? I think eventually it'll become a real one. Steeny, the fruit Pokemon. Steeny spreads a sweet scent that makes others feel invigorated. The same scent is popular for antiperspirants. Wow. So you squeeze the Steeny into a little antiperspirant container and you shove it all over your armpits. How nice. What the? I apparently got a Pokemon stuck up my butt. Did you see that? That was pretty funny. A super effective water pulse. Take this! Oh! Insta kill. Well, excuse me, insta knockout. There's no killing in Pokemon, right? All right. Let's continue. I think we're gonna just try to find a way around this thing, around the base, because the base seemed to be a dead end. We're gonna get around this giant thing. Where are we right now? That was the base. So if we go kind of the long way around, maybe then? I'm not sure. Honestly. Nah, I think I gotta go the other way. I think the other way is the better way. I follow this road. I think eventually this will lead us to the new town we want to go to. Bounce Sweet? Oh, really? I guess you could pronounce it Bounce Sweet. Does the bounce? Does the... Does the... Uh, the berry bounce? Is a bouncy berry? If it's a bouncy berry, then I guess Bounce Sweet makes sense. We can rest our Pokemon up over here. Bound sweet. So, it says you defeated two, defeated two trainers. You gotta kill five. Kill. You have to defeat five. Why is everything killing in video games, right? Like, my mind immediately goes towards how many did you kill? Not how many did you defeat? How many were knocked out? Just how many did you murder and viciously slash into pieces, right? Like, it's messed up that my head thinks that way. So Sherry says, picnics have a variety of effects and different strengths based on how good your sandwich is. They range from increasing catching power for specific types, increasing spawns for certain types, and restoring your HP. I see. So it seems to me like the game has a lot of mechanics, and some of them are not needed. Like, I don't think the, like, when would I ever use that picnic one, right? I don't know if I ever really would care about it. Ho, oh, ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. You're ready to see a real chef at work. Okay, Santa Chef. Eleanor the cook. Ho, 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 ho. Who's she supposed to be? Julia Child? Or something? I don't know. Weird. Wow. Not very effective instant knockout to the slowpoke. All right, Derek, you get ready for your match. Enjoy. And uh, if I see you tonight, great. If not, it's all good. Enjoy your pay-per-view, right? Sandwiches are using the sh used to shiny hunt, but you should try Picnic for once just for hilar hilarity factor. All right. Maybe not today. Maybe next time. I don't know. I'm not in the mood for a Picnic for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm just not in the mood for picnic. Game. Same ones we already got. You know, we have not seen a Corellia, right? Ever since that first time we saw them, we never encountered the Corellia again. So, because of that, uh, I've never been able to name the one for Captain DCW, which kind of sucks. I think we might have to figure out where they are and just purposely go back there later. Quick attack and then try to catch it. Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa. Go. Elgrey Zoro says in your Pokedex there's a setting that you can see which area enemies spawn. So, Jason, who's my favorite movie monster? Probably like King Ghidorah. I think I really like King Ghidorah, the three headed dragon that's always the nemesis of Godzilla. Teddy Ursa, little bear Pokemon. 
This Pokemon discreetly follows Combi to find their hive. It scoops up big dollops of honey in its palms to eat. No nickname for you yet. Maybe someone will name you later. And we'll bring them into, uh, into our, our party later. We are to the evolution Ursuline. Oh, there you headbutt me. Take this. Instant death. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, continuing along this path. Oh, we don't have this guy. This is the Venonat, isn't it? I'm pretty sure this is Venonat. Yep, I was absolutely correct. Hopefully we don't kill it with a quick attack. Nice, we can catch it. Jerry says, Teddy Ursa is so cute that it evolves to something not so cute. I think that's, that's for a lot of Pokemon, that's the case. But can you think of a Pokemon that starts off, like, like mean or ugly and then evolves to something cute? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I can't really think of anything, but I wonder if any of them go that way. All right. Venonat, which is bug and poison type. Poison oozes from all over its body. It catches small bug Pokemon at night that are attracted by the light. Ooh. It's pretty disturbing. Mocha Madness, we had way more viewers before my break. For whatever reason, whenever I go on my break, we lose a bunch. Like, we had between 250 and 300 earlier. I came back, we lost like 100 viewers. They didn't return. I don't know why. But, no, people do absolutely love the Pokemon playthrough, right? Take a look. Engagement's great. Support's great. People love it, man. all just for grinding purposes because I already have these Pokemon. I certainly don't need to catch any more of them. Ether. Well, we have a Poke Center up here. That's a good start. Oh, wait a minute. Did we arrive at the town inadvertently? We did. It was a I didn't even mean to do that. I just arrived by randomness. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we'll rest up the Pokemon again. We might have time for a third gym guy or a second gym today, guys. I like to heal my Pokemon. We did a lot today, man. We did a lot of progress today, huh? Certainly we did. All right. Okay. I think we have time. Grass type. So wait a minute. Who's good against grass type? I don't even remember. Besides fire, and I don't have any fire in my party. All right, grass type gym. Jade, you said Godzilla was your favorite monster. Now you're saying it's King Ghidorah. How dare you? How dare you switch? <laughs> Here we go. Fire, Fly, and Bug are the good types against it. I don't think I have any of those in my party right now. Hey, DSP! I saw you going into the gym and came running. Listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't battle you last time when we ran into each other. Wait, don't get me wrong. I didn't chase you down just to battle you. Then again, I guess I wouldn't mind a battle or anything if you wanted to. What do you say? Sure. Yes, battle time. You and me, DSP. Wait, hold on. I want to be sure to pick the right Pokemon for where you're at in your journey. Sorry, give me a sec to fine-tune my team. Then we can battle. In fact, while you're waiting, go ahead and take on the gym. Welcome to the Artisan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is DSP, yes? Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Brashus, you'll need to pass the gym test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means completing a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. Oh, boy. 
As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since sun flora embody these concepts, we try to gather them and make good, take good care of them. Your job today is to find the sun flora located throughout Artisan. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up 10 and bring them to Sunflora Lawn and you'll pass the test. I'll register the lawn's location in your map app to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right and see two large Sunflora statues. Head for those. Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staff are there will tell you more about the gym test. Now get out there and have fun and leave me alone. I'm on break. I see. Alrighty then. Take a right, turn right, and here's the statues. Hi there. I look after the artisan, artisan Jim's Sunflora. Excuse me. Hope you're ready, Challenger. It's time for a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. Flora! Sounds like the Sunflora are ready. With that, our gym test has begun. Once you find ten... Bring them back here to the Sunflora Lawn. All right. Seriously? They're right in front of me. This isn't very hard when they're standing directly in front of me. What the... There's one. Okay. Yes, El Grey Zoro, I did mention I would like to replay Mortar Storm Apocalypse. If you remember, it was on PS Plus Premium that I checked out over the summer. However, I don't have that system. I don't have it anymore. Like, after we played, like, one or two games on it, we realized that, you know, I'm not going to play it that much. So if we ever were to play that again, I would probably pay for that premium service again. But I am still interested in replaying it, yes. Why can't I talk to the Sunflora? Here we go. There's a TM over here. It's not, it's just, oh. I wanted to get the ball, the Pokeball, they won't let me get it. Gotta find more of these things. <laughs> There's another one. Ha! I tried to run, but I still interacted with it somehow and it came back anyway. Look. Wait, what? We have to fight it? What happened? We have to fight it. That's weird. I've been seated. It's not good. I wasn't expecting to have to fight one. That counts as eight. No, that's a statue. It's not a real one. Here's one. So glitchy there, like teleporting around. Here we go. All right, we did it. Weird. <laughs> what a weird task. Run around an insanely low frame rate with these things following you around.
No super revives are having marinated. Uh, wait, what? What did it say? Oh, wait. We're not going here. We're going over here to the field. So no super revives are having marinated chicken drumsticks and barbecue sauce. That's what we're having for dinner. I received a $5 tip. From Sherry92. Thank you, Sherry. I appreciate the tip. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed today's stream. Thanks for chilling with us today. I really appreciate that. Last chance to anyone who wants to support the stream because I will be adjourning by 4 p.m. So if you were thinking of helping out and maybe helping us hit this final tips goal to get it, see a vest by the end of the stream, now would be the absolute last moment to do it. Okay? Thank you, Sherry. Well done on finding all the sun floor. You passed the gym test with flying colors. Head back to the lobby and report your results of course all right we shall do so oh you missed bubbles quite a long time ago all right seems you successfully gathered 10 sun flora and brought them over to the sun flora lawn that means you cleared the gym test congrats you're in the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. You ready? I might as well. He's going to be low level. So I don't think this is going to be much of an issue. We already did some of the higher level gyms. All right. The Virtuoso. Jade says, Godzilla's his favorite movie series and his favorite monster is King Ghidorah in it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you, Jade. Sorry, I got confused. Another gym battle. We had two today. And a Titan and a base. It's a lot. Greetings, Challenger. Ah. Hmm. He's got a whip. A vine whip. You did well to come this far. I am Brashus, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I am also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. Ah, the perception you displayed in fighting Sunflora was truly... How shall I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk. We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. Wait a minute. The humans don't fight, so why does he have a, a whip? I trust that you're ready. It's time for our masterpiece to take shape. All right, gym leader Brashes. Pet a little. I don't think Eve is very good against grass types. I think it's actually a weakness. Art is creation and destruction. Struggle, else you defeat will nourish my Pokemon. How about Aurora Bean? It was super effective. Oops. I did not know that ice is super effective against grass type, but apparently it is. It instantly killed it. <laughs> wow. Keep it in. Small is. No, what did I do? I did it again and I insta kill. I <laughs> wow. I really had no clue that ice is the weakness of the grass type. Wow. Well, I take it back. I think Eve is exactly the correct Pokemon for this. This has promise. Yes, let us lead this artistic endeavor to its conclusion at once. Pseudo Woodoo. Pseudo Woodoo. It's time to get for. Oh, this is not the weakness. Allow me to touch this work up slightly. I will call it Truly Woodoo. Or Truly Woodo. Excuse me. Pseudo Woodo and Truly Woodo. Because Winter kills plants? Oh. Winter makes the plants go away. That's why ice is the weakness of plants. Yeah, but you see, Pseudo Wudo is, is rock. That's the difference here. And I... Oh my god, it was still super effective. But he endured the hit. His attack fell. At times, art becomes a race against the clock. Let us increase the pace. Trail Blaze. Wow, that was really super effective. Man, you got me.
Wow. What a jobber. That was less than five minutes. Bye bye, Sudowoodo. That was pretty easy. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. What a dope. Oh, what artistic tactics you employ. The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokemon's performance. Everything that you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was, in a word, art. Indeed, if we could not call that work a work of artistry, then nothing else in the world could be labeled as such. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? Yeah, me kicking you right in the nuts. Wow. He was terrible. If you possess five gym badges, it's easier to catch Pokemon up to level 45, and those Pokemon should follow your commands as well. To a fantastic trainer as yourself, I would also like to offer this a favorite of mine. Trailblaze. The user attacks suddenly, as if leaving out from tall grass. The user's nimble footwork will boost its speed stat. Willow, I will see you later tonight. Ah, oh, my inspiration is overflowing, as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece of art at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. <clears throat> what a dummy. All right. That was so easy. By far the easiest steamrolling gym. I mean, the thing is, we went and did the harder ones first, which I didn't know. The game's open world, right? <clears throat> Another gym leader defeated. Well done. Rika informed me that there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. It seems she meant you. I guessed as much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed. If you manage to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank... I'll be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League and... Hey, hey, DSP! I put my got my team all picked out! And I saw you battling the gym leader. You just keep getting better. How good to see you again, Champion Nimona. It has certainly been a while. Whoa, wait, La Primera with DSP? Why do you call her that? Wait, did I forget to give you the full explanation? Everyone calls Miss Gita La Primera because she's just that. She's the real number one, even higher than us regular champions. She's the top champion. I do indeed hold that claim, alongside my role as the chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. I thought you were too busy to spend your time checking in on the gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I've come to scout some rather promising young talent. Whoa! I look away for one second at your famous DSP. But hey, I found DSP first. You may be La Primera, but you cannot go stealing him from me. Haha, <laughs> I suppose I'll have to get in line. That's right. Come on, DSP. Time for our battle. Quick, let's go. The battlefield's calling. One moment, please. Huh? What is it? I would very much like to observe this match, if that is all right. Ooh la ha ha ha. Totally fine by me. Sounds fun, right, DSP? Yes. Thank you kindly. I'm already excited to see you two face off. Let's be on our way then. All right. Here we go. You remember how it all works, right? Once you get badges from all the gyms, you get to throw down against the strongest Pokemon trainers around. Yes, you must face the Pokemon League. It is located to the northwest of Mezagoza. The Pokemon League is where trainers are reborn as champions, the greatest honor that they might dream of. Collecting eight gym badges gets you up to take the champion assessment. If you can face the challenge of the final examiner and win, you'll become a champion. Just imagine 
how that moment would feel. Try getting into that champion mindset. Now, set your sights on reaching that big, important stage, and let's battle... Excuse me, one moment. I believe DSP's Pokemon may still be a little fatigued. Oh, sorry, I got a little caught up in my battle hunger. Well, you should be all in great shape now thanks to La Primera. Okay, DSP, time to put our game faces back on. Let's have us another fruitful battle. Jason, see, I knew the Eve would work. Ha <laughs> ha. I didn't know. I had no idea Eve was going to work for that gym battle. All right, here we go. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Nimona again. Lycan Rock. I know La Primera's watching, but no need to get worked up. Just stay cool. Oh, I always stay cool. Watch this. <clears throat> oh, no. Let's try again. Did okay. good chunks, but it's probably going to kill me first. Oh, because it has... It's, it attacks me first. Yep. What if I do quick attack? Wait, what? I did quick attack! Quick attack always goes first! Now I'm really upset. A cellar rock also goes first? Well, that's bullshit. Here. Slap him right now. Slap him. How do you like that? How do you like getting slapped by giant sumo hands? I don't like that, do you? Ooh, that was a good one. Your move really had some zing to it. There we go. What's up, John? How are you? Wow, level up. Goku Bros want to learn Charm. I don't think Charm is very good. Let's take a look at it. Nope, forget it. I don't even care. Okay. Might as well keep them in. Knock them off. Decent damage. Dragon Pulse. Ow. Right in the belly button. <laughs> oh, so, so little health left. Dead. Alright. Very nice. Uh, I guess we're going to switch considering I have no health. Let's get Godzilla in here. Fighting type, which is not good, but then I can use Earthquake to be super effective. As long as it doesn't hit me five times, I should survive this. Maybe I'll kill it. Let's see. It okay, attacks three times. It's seriously gonna attack four times. Of course it gets to attack insane amounts of time instead of just two or three like like it normally would, right? Of course. Dazzling Gleam Time. It's a revenge on him. Nice. You got vaporized, Palmo. Okay. Skeledurge? I don't even know what that, that is. I'm just gonna keep this in. Haha, <laughs> wow! 
You're seeing this primavera? Oh, excuse me. You seeing this primavera? I died, missed the, the quote. I timed it. That's it. Now I'm really upset. I'm incredibly upset. Have a thunderbolt. Time to set terrestrialize. Watch. I'll make La Primera's eyes light up. No, I, what, what I have right now is what I have. That's it. I don't have the other one. Okay, I'm pulling out all these stops. Get ready. I want to see you stand up to this. Torch song. Hello, Bruzy. Yes, we did a ton today. We did a ton of today. Agility, I picked the wrong thing. I picked the wrong ability. I totally screwed up. Hello, Twisted Resistor. Pokemon was going fine until this fight. Now I'm getting destroyed for some weird reason. Well, if this loses, we're done. All on Eve with one hit, one chance to win. This is it. Eve. Never gets to attack. Like, how is this fair? How is I supposed to win the duel? This enemy endlessly attacks first. No matter what I do. And insta kills every enemy in my ch in my fucking. It was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. How was that fair? No, how was that fight fair? 
I'm gonna have a, a Pokemon that I'm gonna terrestrialize. It always goes first and it insta kills every Pokemon you have. And there was no way to know that Pokemon was coming. Right? Well, an amazing display of talent, even against one of skill as champion Nimona. That was a splendid match I enjoyed watching very much. He battling in front of La Primera give you the jitters, baby? Well, I might have won, but it was obvious how much you bo bonded with your Pokemon. No, you cheated. You watched who I had in my party for the boss fight, and then you had a Pokemon that literally had the advantage against all of mine. You literally cheated. You know, since the first time we met, I've been weirdly sure of one thing. You're going to become a champion. No doubt about it, DSP. The rest of these gyms, you can take him. 100%. No problem. I agree. In fact, you should take this. Consider it an investment in your future. Terra Blast. If the user has Terra Stalized, it unleashes energy of its Terra Tight. This move inflicts damage using the attack or special attack stat, whichever is higher for the user. If a Pokemon uses that while Terra Stalized, the moves type will change to the Terra type of the Pokemon. <clears throat> One day, DSP, you and me are all going to have the greatest battle of all. I know it. I'm going to go train up even more than I already have been. She shows how much support and so much support and friendship, or perhaps, perhaps she hopes you truly might rival her. No, I think it's no mere hope. She seems to have complete faith that you will catch up to her. She cheated. I, it's not catching up. She literally cheated to win. At any rate, allow me to return to the gym where I found you. I love that the whole game is acted like, oh, you were overwhelmed, you were beaten. She cheated. <laughs> I was trouncing her. Then she just happened to have a starter Pokemon that was insanely high level that had the weakness of everything I had, always went first. Always buffed itself. It's like, if I had known she was going to have that Pokemon in the party, then I would have had something to counter it, right? But I don't know who she has. We don't even know who she's bringing, right? Whatever. I'm fucking cheating. Wow. You really trounced me there. I feel very embarrassed. Oh, apparently all my Pokemon got revived. Okay. All right. Well, guys, that is it for today's stream. Next time around... What do we want to do? If you actually take a look, um, honestly, we've done almost everything, right? Like, I would say the next thing we will probably do is head west and take on this Titan Pokemon. And then once that's done, we pretty much want to kind of head back to the areas we've been. Because if you take a look down here, we're going to have this gym, which is Psychic, a Psychic gym. Which we haven't been to yet. So then once those that's done, those two, then likely what we'll do is we'll start to head north again. Up here in the lake, which was too high level for us before. We'll have this Titan, False Dragon Titan. We also have this gym up here. There's two gyms here. One is Ghost Tight, and one is Ice Tight, right? So a double gym. Another base up here. Yeah. Another base over here. So, yeah, next time around we'll do the Titan... We'll do this gym. We'll see how much time we have, and maybe we can start heading back up north, right? And starting to go to these areas um, as we make progress. But today was seriously a very productive stream for the return of Pokemon to the main daytime stream. Two gyms, a Titan, and a Team Star base. That's the most I think we've actually done uh, in one Pokemon stream, one sitting. I would like to say thanks to everyone who attended, everyone who engaged and supported the stream. I really appreciate that. We absolutely saw increase in engagement and support today with it being a daytime stream. And just a quick reminder that there will be more of this in just a couple of days. All right. There will be uh, more Pokemon fun in just two days. So I hope to see you on Monday for that. All right, guys. Thank you so very much. Whether you watched on stream or if you're still watching this on demand on YouTube as well, I appreciate your viewership and your support. Until next time. Awesome. She cheated.